Mr Rich is here to help you out with your year 8 geography NVA revision guide. Okay so first as you can see on the screen I'm going to look at four key areas for you. Firstly how will you be tested? Secondly what are going to be the broad topic areas you're going to be tested on? Thirdly what will be the best way in which you can actually revise? And fourthly testing your knowledge. Okay, so you're going to have two main tasks on your exam day. The first task is going to be a multiple choice test with 30 questions. The second task is going to be an essay style question on a set question we give you. For all of the work you do, there will be clear guidance. So on the essay style question, you're going to get a really clear frame and all the success criteria. More of that in a moment. So with the multiple choice questions, there are 30 covering everything you've done so far up, but not including obviously the energy unit you've just started. So rivers and floods, weather and climate and global warming. So those questions will obviously be predominantly key terms and concepts and ideas. So you need to go back through your books and your knowledge organizers, which are all on the file section in your team page. Very importantly, because it's multiple choice, don't rush it. Take at least a minute to do each question. Give yourself some thinking time before you commit to an answer. Second part of the test will be an essay question which is going to be on UK flooding, okay, specifically just on that. So you need to have a good understanding of why flooding occurs, what can be done to try to mitigate, to reduce, to lessen the effects of floods, and obviously have some case studies, okay, so that will be a key area, a key focus point for your research. Once again on the test paper, I've given you a really clear frame so you can use that to write your essay as well as the success criteria what myself and your staff will want to see in your answer. So how would be the best way for you to revise? So your first stage within your first week is to get all your resources together. Print out all the knowledge organisation, use those get your exercise book, go through, and just basically read through your three broad topic areas. Take anything that's important as you go through the task in point one and start to note down those key points on a mind map or flashcards or straight notes if that's easier for you. Then with those basic two mind maps and flashcards, one for each task, so one for your multiple choice task, one for your essay task. Start to go through the BBC bite sized links I've also provided in your assignment. Each of those links is a number of pages, so read through those. They give you lots of good information that you can use in both parts of your test. So aim to do the first three points on this slide in the first week. Then in the second week, you can start to revise, test yourself, get tested. Flashcards and mind maps are a really good way of doing it. And there's two really good videos on your assignment page as well. So watch those to get some ideas and some hints. So finally, with testing your knowledge, the key thing is you really want to find out what you don't know more than what you do know. So on your first run through, have someone to ask you the questions. So give your mind map to your mum, dad, brother, sister, whatever, and make a note as you go through of the things that you got wrong or that you just did not know. That evening, just look through those things, reread, your knowledge organisers, your research, your information you found on UK flooding, and look through that information. The next day, get tested again, but only initially get tested on what you don't know. 
then have a few extra questions thrown in. And then quite simply, gentlemen, it's eat, sleep and repeat until you have a good understanding of your information. So remember, you need to concentrate on key terms for your multiple choice test and then UK flooding, case studies, information, knowledge for the essay. You want to be able to concentrate more on answering the questions and writing the essay in the examination rather than trying just to find something out to put in it at that time. Okay, hope this helped guys and good luck.